what's going on guys, it's ETA Prime back here again. Last night I picked up a little HP Chrome box for $13 on my local Craigslist. Um, I'm kind of surprised I got it for so cheap, but I was buying something else and I just added $13 more and he threw this in for me. So I pretty much got it for $13. Bucks. Today I want to show you guys Android running on this HP Chrome box. This is Remix OS running from a USB 3.0 stick. But this um, little unit here has a Celeron 2995U with Intel HD graphics, 2GB of RAM, and 16GB onboard storage. It has four USB 3.0 ports, an HDMI, a display port. Let me look at this real quick. And it also has an Ethernet port and an audio out port. I didn't even look on the back of that thing. So the big problem is Remix OS, I'm getting no sound through my HDMI, but I was able to use Bluetooth and the Bluetooth built in to the HP Chrome box works. So I just put it to a little cube speaker that I had. It was a $5 speaker, I believe. So I went to pick up another PC for $60. It's an AMD APU custom built computer. It's a little tiny computer. I just I wanted something else to run Laka and RetroArch on. So I bought that $60. He said, "Oh yeah, I got this too." It's a HP Chromebox. And I he said he wanted $20 for it. I said I only have 13 on me. Sold it to me. $13 for an HP Chromebox. So let's get into it. Remix OS is running from a USB 3.0 stick. Now I had to do a custom firmware, which is very simple to do. And I will be making a tutorial on how to do this. It's very easy. And Remix runs very well off the USB 3.0 drive that I have. There are things that will not work from the App Store, but you do get Google Play. It's very easy to install. It's pretty much two click, reboot, and you have Google Play. Bluetooth works, Wi-Fi works, Pretty much everything works except for audio out through HDMI. Netflix. Now I have so many devices that run Netflix. I will not watch Netflix on this. I'm not going to use it for that. But Netflix does work. And if you haven't seen the new Voltron, you got to watch it. I'm re-watching it. It's awesome. I love it. I would play something here, but I don't want to get in trouble. Netflix does work. I've tested a bunch of movies and they work perfectly. Word. So Remix OS is like an Android desktop operating system. So you may need a document editor. So everything works within here. I'm not signed in, so I can't go into, you know, a lot of depth with it, but you can take your view you can go one page, which I'm at one page now. Page width. And we can edit this picture here, bring it down. So I just wanted to show you that that does work and it works pretty well. So this has an Intel HD graphics chip built into the CPU. So it's not the greatest of graphics, but I was able to run some Decent games on this unit. We're going to go into Goat Simulator Waste of Space. One of my favorite games right now. Now you can play this for about a week on and off and then you'll get tired of it. I do have a Bluetooth controller connected. A Mad Cat's CTRLR. Or I think that's what it's called. But it works great and I love the controller. So... So it runs fairly well on this Chrome box here. Oh, wrong button. And the faster your USB drive um, read and write speed is, the better this should run. Now I have a SanDisk Ultra, which is not a great USB 3.0 stick, but it does the job. I 
I keep hitting start right there. I, it'll go by itself, so. Now, they did make an i3 um, HP Chrome box or Asus Chrome box. One of them, they put a nice i3 CPU in it, and that would run so much better. But this is what I got now, and I can't beat it. I'm really enjoying running, whoa, Android on the Chrome box. Now, I only tried Chrome for about 10 minutes before I decided to go in and try to get another operating system on it. And Ubuntu works amazingly on this. It is a great setup. If you have a Chromebox and you don't use it much, install Ubuntu or Android and you will use it a lot more. We're going to exit out of this game. And King of Fighters does not support a controller for some reason. These two games don't support controllers, so you're going to run into stuff like that. You could always use your mouse to you know, control the game, but I'd rather use a controller on a setup like this. So we're going to go into Moopin64 and see the performance of the N64 emulator. We'll start with Super Smash Bros. Oh, and I'm already in gameplay. That's good. And my FPS is listed at the bottom, like always. So good, I wanted to skip that stage and get right to the Yoshi Team stage because this is where a lot of these lower end systems lag a lot. And we're going to have a little bit of lag here. I'm on the rice core for this game. I did test Ocarina of Time and it runs very, very, very good. So we oh, do have some lag here, but single player uh, is 60 frames all day long. And if you know anything about Moopin, you'll know that Android has trouble playing this level unless you got a super high-end phone. It is not bad. You can turn frame skip on for this level and then turn it back off for the next levels. It will run at a steady 30 frames. It looks okay. I don't like frame skip though. I don't like the way it makes game the game feel. So I usually I try my hardest not to put it on. There are a few more settings that you could I want to get rid of this flower that you could try to make this run a little better. You could down the resolution a little bit. This is at the native resolution. And there are plenty of settings to change. Come on. How do I get rid of this? Oh. I need to get it out of here. For some reason, I am really there we go jeez now I pick something else up I don't want this so I'm gonna skip here and we'll go to the next stage And it pretty much runs perfectly when you have just two two players on screen. Four player battle will bog it down a bit. Come on, Fox, just let me get you. Let's back out of here. Oh, yeah, we'll back out of this emulator. Now I'll be doing a lot more tests on this operating system, but for now let's go with Final Burn Alpha and try a quick arcade game. We'll do the Punisher. Why not? Now I've set up my controller. 
These are running from a USB 2.0 stick also. Since there's four ports on this Chrome box, it really makes it awesome to, uh, and they're all 3.0, so they're pretty fast storage. This is the AFBA app. And I've tried a few other games and they all run very good. Metal Slug 4 and Don Pachi and stuff like that. So I've had this unit running for, I'd say, six hours now straight with no problem. I haven't had to reboot it once. And this was pretty much, I should have probably rebooted it after I installed a bunch of stuff, but I hadn't had any problems with it. So, And you see this runs really good. And that's it for now, guys. That is Remix OS running on a HP Chromebox. This should also work with the Asus Chromebox. The tutorial will be coming up very soon. You need to disassemble the box. It's only four, it's eight screws all together. We need to take one screw out of the motherboard and that will allow us to write firmware to the BIOS. So we're just gonna install a new BIOS which will allow us to boot from the USB stick and if you ever want to go back all you have to do is create a new Chrome stick Google has an app and it'll create the stock Chrome OS USB stick you flash that and you're back to Chrome OS everything's fine that's it for now guys if you have any questions or comments let me know down below or you can send me a private message by going to my channel page clicking about and send message and like always thanks for watching